Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Somebody's getting ready to rush in towards you. They see you, they, whoever this person is that you're not in communication with, somebody's getting ready to come towards you. I keep seeing this Three of Cups and the Six of Swords um, while I'm shuffling. But someone here, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Gemini energy is out here. You know, 111 is here also. So maybe some of you all have been seeing signs and synchronicities. 111. Your person could be seeing signs and synchronicities. 111. There's a lot of God like energy out here. Like this person feels like there's a divine connection between the two of you. Like a bunch of Jesus God energy. Like this person's trying to manifest you. The magician in the mirror is is magician energy here this person like is starting to see they know your value they know your worth they they think very highly of you whoever this person is and future <laughs> future rich sex is playing right now i i don't know what why and what that is about but i'm like okay let's see what's going justice just came out libra energy somebody wants to come towards you and make something right Let's pull some more energy, though. I don't know. I feel like somebody has something to offer you. Like, they're rushing in. They know your worth. They know your value. They're trying to manifest you for a wands. Another card of 11-11. Look at this. Both of these kind of scream 11-11 to me. You see these two pillars in the justice energy? I'm telling you, somebody wants to reunite. Somebody sees you as stability. Now, I don't know yet whether or not somebody's just rushing towards you because they see you doing good, your your money's looking right. I feel like, yes, this person sees you looking great. Maybe you've leveled up in some form of way. You're looking amazing. Maybe y'all just got like, you know, a, a new house or a new car or I don't know, maybe you stumbled across some money or maybe this person stumbled across some money and they want to come in and give to you. I don't know. Hopefully this person doesn't want to rush in just to, to because they see you doing good and they feel like, you know, you're a meal ticket or some shit. They better not. Justice, show me more here about this energy between the collective and the person they're in no communication with. Ooh, this person's in deep regret over something that they did. Five of Cups. Eight of Wands, um, not Eight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Somebody wants to have a conversation with you. They want to work and rebuild. I feel like this person wants to come in and make money t with you. Like, they see you as like a, the two of y'all maybe could be a power couple. It's giving me energy of like, maybe this person wants to pay you money back and they owe you money. I hope that's not the case. For some of y'all, it could be. Obviously, there was a heartbreaking ending here, and this person wants to do something to work that out. With the Eight of Pentacles being here, they may even want to have a conversation with you about what happened. Somebody here could have experienced some form of betrayal when it comes to a business partnership or when it comes to money, too. I don't know who... What? Show me more. Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups fell on this Four of Wands. This person sees you as stability, Collective. You could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You don't have to be. But I'm telling you, this could be you blocking this person. They want to come in and have a conversation with you. You may get a lot of attention, too. With Door to Value being here and the Six of Wands being here. Mm, let's get some more energy and see. Why is Justice here? This King of Swords. Ooh, somebody seeking legal advice? Somebody seeking legal advice? Why is Justice here? Could have been dealing with an air sign. Definitely Libra energy. Why is Justice here? Oh, okay. They want a new beginning with you. Ace of, Ace of Wands. A new passionate beginning with you. Show me more here about this Justice card. Ooh, the Hierophant Taurus energy. Three of Cups. This person wants to go somewhere. I feel like, ooh, this is giving third-party energy at the bottom of the deck, though. Especially with this devil being here. 
somebody wants to communicate something with you and I feel like there was something to do with a third party. Maybe with the King of Swords being here with the Justice card. Maybe somebody's telling you they're separating or getting a divorce or something. <sighs> money is definitely involved. Maybe somebody won some money or they gained some money or doing better. But the hair fight is here with the Ace of uh, Wands. They may even want to come in and commit. I don't, they, you know, they may want to come in and say, hey, let's have something more traditional and more long term. I want to know why this uh, Ten of Swords is here and the Eight of Pentacles. So let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Clarify Eight of Pentacles. Mm, yeah, money wasn't right. S Seven of Pentacles just came out crossing. Money was a challenge with this person. Somebody has some money issues or drama behind money. Show me more about the Eight of Pentacles. But this person's been waiting. Maybe they've been waiting and haven't communicated with you because they were waiting on money. They were waiting on some sort of settlement. Um, another seven. Se 77 could be significant. Seven of Cups is about confusion. So this person was waiting. Um, show me more on this Eight of Pentacles. Or no, actually, what, why is this Seven of Cups here? Let me just clarify. That's the Emperor. Show me more on this Seven of Cups. Aries energy with the Emperor, Nine of Cups. Show me this Nine of Cups. I feel like this person had many options, okay? Seven of Cups, but they were waiting to make a choice. Nine of Nine of Cups, and their money had something to do with it too. Nine of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. It's like this Emperor. One option is a wish fulfillment. There is value in some connection. Uh, if for those of you, there was a third party. Okay, um, definitely this person was given to two people. Uh, why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah. Why is the Ten of Swords here? I feel like this person offered... Damn, what is this about? Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like there was an issue. You could be dealing with a younger... Um, earth sign i feel like hold on a second before i say that i just feel like somebody either made the wrong choice or this person doesn't didn't have a lot to offer or there was something involving money for sure um show me more on this emperor please Ooh, show me more on the emperor the tower almost came out yeah some secret or something came out Something has come out. High Priestess in reverse. Pisces energy. Show me more in the Emperor. Somebody may have the Page of Wands. Show me more in this Emperor. The, there was definitely some conflict here with this Emperor, y'all. Eight of Cups. And now this person is walking away from that conflict. And they want to talk to you about that. Yeah, look at this. Walking away with such a freaking burden. Like, somebody has a ton of obligations or, like, uh, finances or an issue. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, even maybe even children. Show me more here. What's going on with this emperor, please? I mean, yeah, definitely some trust issues. Children. Children have something to do with this. Money and children have something to do with this, for sure. If, yeah. Show me this emperor. Yeah, they're getting ready to release something, y'all. This emperor is getting ready to release something. And they're hoping that you'll forgive them. They've accepted some form of situation for what it is like right now. And now this person's walking away and releasing something. And now they want to come towards you and ask for your forgiveness. So, um, mm, yeah. We have release and retreat for this emperor. So this person is disconnecting themselves from whatever their situation is and they know they have a decision to make which makes sense because we saw that lover's energy, right? Could be dealing with the Gemini. But I feel like this person is deciding about a, a connection. Yeah. What's underneath this eight of... Yeah, we saw that. 
they are decided some, something was brought to light. Show me more here about the situation with this emperor, please. Listen, somebody here is having some issues either with their friends. Show me the support. They've been talking to their friends about you, about how they can move forward. What they can do to come towards you because this person misses you and they're thinking about you and they can't stop thinking about you. Their intuition is pushing them or something came out. I don't. So I do feel like this person, you know, has been talking to people. Hmm. Let's get more on the situation. What else do we have here for this emperor? So if you're this queen of cups, this person definitely betrayed you, stabbed you in the back. This person wants you to trust them. This person feels like the time apart. The, the, I'm just going to say this. The time apart that you've had with this person has, right, the retreat has allowed this person to think about what happened, right? And release something, right? They, they've given them, it's given this person some time to get something together that they had going on in the background, right? And come out of some form of denial and you release something here. And now they want you to trust to trust them. Um, so I really feel like this person's gonna come back and ask you, let's see what this could be about. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be a dancer. You know, I don't know what kind of dancer, but show me what else is going on with this person. All right. Commitment just came out in reverse. I feel like somebody's getting ready to drop a commitment. Ooh, wolves in sheep's clothing. So this person could be finding out, hold on. I feel like this person's dropping somebody and now they choose you. I'm sorry for taking so long to realize it's always been you. Okay. I feel like somebody's been doing a lot of partying or they did a lot of bunch of partying and money was spent, like way too much money was spent here. Or somebody here has been like hanging out with their friends because all they do is harp on this situation and, and, and try to run away from this situation, but they can't run away from it anymore, right? They're getting ready for some of y'all. There's some travel involved here or somebody is getting ready to take a new journey or come towards you. I feel like this person did everything they could to try to forget you or delete everything that reminded them of you, you know. Show me what else here in this situation with this emperor. What do I say? Yeah, this person is emotional and they get, they don't know whether they're coming or going, but I'm telling you this, this person's getting ready to come towards you. This person is longing for you. They're having a really difficult time being apart from you here. Um, and this person's not single right now. They're trying to get single, single in reverse, like, or they don't want to be single. Divorce. Look at that. And divorce came out, which is crazy. I don't know, though. Maybe this person might come towards you and say, yeah, but they're getting ready to drop these burdens. I told you burdens came out in reverse. They're getting ready to drop these burdens. Like, this is them feeling overwhelmed. Like, fuck this. Like, this was not a good, this was not a good decision. This was not a good choice. Like, this is too heavy. I, I got to let this go I and walk away. Yeah. And look at that, missing you. I'm turning these cards over. It says, I never missed anyone in my life as much as I missed you. Ways. Make, make sure you're cleansing your energy here. This person, I feel like they feel like they are under spiritual attack. They um, are trying to fight off some form of negative energy or negative people or negative drama around them. Um, show me what else here. Mm -mm. Um, 
your light irritates their demons shine. Somebody here doesn't want to see you shine. And you do shine. You shine bright. Um, I don't know. Show me more here about this emperor and what his energy and what he's got going on for you. Let's just see. There's some drama. There's some drama. This person has a lot of conflict. They're dealing with somebody. This person, uh-oh, this person hasn't taken any action because they're dealing with a lot of drama. We have action and new beginning in reverse, right? Um, ooh. Somebody could have been incarcerated here or been having legal trouble. Which I did see. Somebody's definitely having legal trouble. And that could have something to do with a divorce. I think this person was confused on what they want. Yeah, they're getting ready to call you or travel towards you here. I think it's forbidden for this person to do this. Or this person is just, if they're not, you know in jail or whatever then this person could be like you know trapped in their own mind eight of swords like thinking something is not going to work or like what am i going to say when i call them or travel towards them because there's some for form of forbidden energy around this 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 connection i'm just telling you but somebody really here really wants to move on somebody i feel like was really arrogant whoever this person was I feel like they're being brought all the way back down to reality because of this bullshit that they chose. Um, and I feel like you, Divine Feminine, are like, okay, that's what you want. Have at it. I don't really care. Um, but, you know, just know you be prepared and ready for the decisions that you made to deal with the outcome of the decision that you made and you took a step back i feel like and now this person has a bunch of drama going on and they want to move forward um it looks like they're trying to but they're like really nervous about whether or not you're going to you know talk to them if you're going to believe what they have to say they don't think you're going to believe anything that they have to say. I've been thinking about how I can fix things between us. You see what I'm saying? That's them being in that eight of swords energy that I was talking about, right? They don't think you're going to trust or believe any damn thing. It says I need more time to heal and love myself. So this person knows they got some healing to do. They know they got some shit that they need to wrap up or, you know, just fix or whatever that is. But like, they may feel like you are, are trying to you know, heal and be distant and just guess, oh, this person wants you to know, yes, I do want to be with you. Okay. So if you question is whether or not this person wanted to be with you, they do. This is so hard for me. I'm struggling. And they are. They're definitely struggling. Show me more here for the collective. This person is starting to think, well, shit, you're better off separated. Like, maybe it's not meant for us to be together, you know. You know, they feel like... They question because they see your value and your worth. They, they see you as somebody of high value. You're loving, kind, caring, and nurturing, but you also show up for people that you love. You're also very, like, just... Queen of Cups energy is like, you know, a really loving, motherly, sort of type, empathic person. But door to value being here, they see this as a divine connection, like you're a gift from God. But you're also doing well in your life and you're really not dependent on anybody. Whether you have children, you don't have children, whatever that situation is, male or female, they just see you as somebody who's doing good without them. And low key, they feel like you are they may not be good enough for you. They question whether or not they're good enough for you. They feel like, you know, you fell in love with their potential or if once you get realized, like, it's just potential. They're afraid that you may leave them. You know, this person stares at their phone, their computer, or at you, your pictures, or whatever, and they just get stuck in their head and don't take action, even though they know they want to take this action. Um, they do see a future with you. They do. They wish things would have been, you know, let's see what the hidden truth is. 
They wish things would have had would have uh oh gone differently. What's the hidden truth here? This person cried. Oh my gosh, this person cried. This person cried. Look, it says, I can't be with you. This person is going through it because they can't be with you right now. And they wish they could be with you. This person feels it definitely magnetically drawn to you. Uh, they're waiting to hear from you patiently because they're stuck in their head. And I don't know what the hell they're waiting on because I don't feel like I don't see you reacting or doing anything, quite frankly, just so you know that. Um, and this, yeah, this person's in pain, honey. They crying. They are feeling trapped mentally. Mm. And the thing is, they would do it all over again if they could just be with you. They would. They would go through the same drama if they could, right? <sighs> What else here for the collective and this connection? Um, for those of you who, um, for those of you who know there's a third party, they're, they have a karmic partner. The person that they're with is very karmic. And this person knows that they settled with this karmic. And they that's why they feel so stuck in this Eight of Swords energy so damn much. Um, they know, like, who they're with is basically settling, to be quite honest. Let's just keep it real. I hate to say that. Uh, yeah, listen. This says false flame. Causes you emotional distress and creates conflicts you're unsure of their feelings towards you they do not help you grow you feel uncomfortable around them so i feel like this karmic partner is a false person karmic partner is a false person this person is definitely going through a lot of this says i'm bound physically mentally and spiritually we said that right i feel there's no way out from here i'm fe i feel imprisoned because of my own doing, I'm trying to fight my inner demons, but it's just so difficult for me at times. So this person definitely doubted the connection, or they're de they're definitely doubting the decisions that they have made, and the and the and the road and the route that they took and the choice that they made. So guess what, Cletus, that's what you want to do. Then again, be be ready and prepared to deal with the consequences of your decision. Right? We all have free will, but you, are you strong enough to deal with those consequences? Like, this person is definitely unhappy with the life choices and they're pretty agitated because they're in so much conflict and they're worried. Like, they're fighting between their mind and their heart. And, and I, you know, I, I all, obviously I saw children involved. So it's like, people make choices, you know, sometimes because children are involved, you know. But is it, for the long term, though, that's not... If you're meant to not be in that connection, it's time for you to let that go. If you don't do it, spirit will. And then what you make it worse for yourself in the long run. It says, I'm not feeling fulfilled in my life. Therefore, I'm chasing money and status as a way to increase my self-worth. I also feel I'm not equipped to, to handle our connection and I'd rather focus on what I can control. You see what I'm saying? Immediately, I'm like, why is this person like money is definitely involved here. Somebody definitely cares more about money or how something looks or because they can't deal with make the, the choice that their heart is leading them to take. They're going to focus on money, money, money. And then you're going to feel empty at the end of the damn day. Like, this is reminding me of, like, um, um, I saw, like, a post about this guy wrote a song. Whoever Megan Thee Stallion used to date. And, um, it was all, like, uh, you know, whatever he was saying in the song. I remember a little bit. But I don't know if y'all saw that on social media. But he was talking about how she looked good on the inside and the out and the on the outside but the inside was garbage and like she really had a lot of turmoil in her life but she created a lot of that turmoil and he thought that spirit she was chasing her making herself better in her spirituality now i'm not saying it's true or it's not true but all i'm saying is this is looking real familiar right here 
game recognized game and this is looking real familiar so all i'm saying is whoever this person is that made this choice and this decision your person is just like <clears throat> that's what they chose divine masculine energy it says i'm working on my divine masculine side i need to be more assertive confident and speak up for myself I can no longer be, I can no longer bow out of things and situations when I become fearful, but fight for what I love. And that's you. See, that's the thing. This divine masculine knows they didn't fight for this. They went, maybe they stayed somewhere, maybe because of kids or they stay somewhere. Might they chose to focus on money or whatever this is. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh, I didn't even see this card, third-party situation. So there's definitely some form of third-party situation. It says, I made you feel inadequate because I chose someone over you. I regret the pain I've caused, caused you due to my selfishness and my physical needs. You didn't deserve to be treated as an option. So for some of y'all, this person made you second guess your self-worth when this situation was happening when you know because i feel like this person put you in this uh oh hold on i feel like this person put you in this energy and they did god darn it i don't like that <clears throat> what else do we have here for this connection Mm -hmm. A bunch of drama. That's what we got. <clears throat> Somebody's birthday. Somebody here could be a um, Cancer or a Leo here. Um, yeah. <sighs> Tumultuous energy. <clears throat> this person feels like you understand them. You're the only one that understands them. It says, I have a hard time processing what happened between us and juggling my own personal responsibilities. I need time and space to deal with everything. It said, Ten of Wands, energy coming out. I'm trying to be patient. I want you to return and I want to return to you. Being apart for you feels like eternity. Somebody's birthday here could be a Virgo. Somebody could be a Scorpio. <clears throat> Look, I've never understood what people meant when they use the term power couple. However, since meeting you, I realized how much positive change we can create together. That was like the first thing I got from like that energy, right? Power couple. <sighs> Something dropped on the floor. I'm not going to pick it up. <clears throat> There's some gossip going on. It says, I'm an idiot. I spoke about our connection as if it was trivial. I didn't respect the sanctity of our connection. Instead of keeping things between me and you, I allow other people to interfere. Joke's on you, unfortunately. People live and they learn, don't they? They Sometimes they live and they learn the hard way and, or, you know, the easy way. And they trust, they do what they feel, they feel guided to do. What next actions will this person take towards my collective? Other than we know that they're going to call you or try to connect with you or take some form of action here. What <clears throat> action will they take towards this Queen of Cups? Temperance energy, Sagittarius. What action? <clears throat> oh, mm. that's too many. What action will they take towards this Queen of Cups? Three of Wands. King of Swords is back out here again. There goes that Justice card again. Mm. And the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. And the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. And the Ace of Wands. So listen, this person loves you. They want to offer you some form. They want to make an offer of like commitment of some sort. 
um, they do. They want to bring this to the surface with the Six of Wands being here. I feel like this person wants to be with you and they want everybody to know, but they're just having a hard time trying to figure that out because there's an energy of somebody trying to like figure something out and juggle and bring balance into a situation or do something the right way with temperance and justice being here. And this King of Swords is facing this temperance energy and this Three of Wands. They know they have some healing and some growing to do. They know it's all about divine timing. And they're thinking, well, like this may take a little longer than I expected because there are some things that they have to do. There's some things they have to put into perspective. And they're trying to do things the right way without more drama, without creating more conflict. You know, this Three of Wands does tell me like this person does want to grow. Especially with the Justice card being on the other side, you know, and, you know, they they are trying to do the right thing, you know. The King of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they don't have to be, but, but it's like somebody who's trying to think through something, somebody who's trying to take some form of legal action also, and they're trying to wait. This person could be waiting on those results, or they could be waiting on a, up, a legal update. Of some sort or hearing of some sort or something they're like waiting to get that information and then it's like boom once they have that finalized or that information they may actually be wanting to come towards you let me see what this temperance is about why is temperance here <clears throat> yeah oh what Capricorn energy with the two of cups what, what what what's this devil energy about? Oh, definitely could just be a Capricorn, a younger Capricorn with the Page of Pentacles. This person loves you. Give me more information on this devil energy, cause I didn't get anything negative. Give me more on this devil energy. Four of Wands. What about this Four of Wands? Cause we just the oh. Somebody's trying to be free. Eight of Swords. Somebody's either trying to free themselves from a marriage or a divorce or something, or this per this person wants to reunite with you. They love you. Two of Cups, Four of Wands. They're trying to figure out how they can get unstuck, or like I said, they're trying to release themselves from a situation and be free. Queen of Cups is already out here. There's the Empress. This person is thinking about you, seeing things in a different perspective with this uh, Hangman Pisces energy. This person wants to bring an offer. I think they're figuring out how they're going to do that. Because <clears throat> I didn't get any negative energy from... Let's get a few more messages on how this person feels about you. Okay. How's this person feeling about the collective now? What are their current thoughts and feelings about the collective? I've been working on myself and I'm not the same that I used to be. I'm not the same person. Okay. I hate seeing you with them. Okay, so they think you moved on with somebody and they don't like that. I'm holding on to the memories of us. <clears throat> I'm afraid of commitment. That came out in reverse, but they might be afraid of commitment. I know that we have a soul connection. I don't know. I saw the Ace of um, Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So that's con like contradicting energy. Um, I regret what I did to you. I'm caught up in a karmic relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One more. I wish you were here with me. So, bottom of the deck, I need to work on myself. I'm trying to clear my head. And I can see that energy. You're, you're worth more to me than I let on. And I can see that this person sees so much value in you. Um, 
It's like they're stuck. They're stuck in this karmic relationship. And like you are just the person that they want to become. You, you just, you just, this person sees you and feels like you can help them grow or they want to be more like you. I mean, that's what it looks like. Anyway, I love y'all. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here.